How's your first uh, spring in Boulder? Uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, I'm pretty used to the cold now, so it's all good for me. I just want to go fishing whenever it get warm. How's the, how's the adjustment been to a new team? Uh, it's pretty. It's been pretty much easy to me. I mean, coming out of high school, then going to college, then going to another team is pretty much now natural to me. I just adapt with, as well as I can. How do you feel like you're adapting on the offensive side of the ball and working with Shador at wide receiver? I mean, it's pretty normal for us, pretty easy for us. Last year, I played a couple snaps at offense, got a couple reps in, so it's just natural for us. We just come in and just do what we have to do. How do you feel like you want to improve your game on that? Side of the ball. I just want to be open more, get the ball in my hands more, attack more, and just be a, a nice threat all around, no matter if I'm going deep or I'm running short routes. Are you still focusing pretty solely on receiver at practice? And is uh, that the plan for the spring? Yeah, right now I'm focused on learning the offensive playbook because defense really come natural to me. It's just easier for me to go in defense and learn a playbook fashion and offense. How did that plan to come, to come together? Was that your idea? Did, did you and Coach Prime kind of have a conversation about how you would handle the spring? Uh, yeah, we had a conversation because I didn't play a lot of snaps at offense last year. So I wanted to come in and get know the playbook so they don't have to tell me sneaky signals and team, other teams get used to it, knowing when I'm coming in the game, if I'm getting the ball or not. So we just came in and said, I got to learn the playbook. Once I learn the playbook, then I go back to defense, learn the defensive playbook, and then just all be together. I go both ways no matter what. Coach Barlone, he said he thinks one of the reasons why you like wide receiver is because you enjoy making defenders look bad. Yeah, that's my favorite thing to do. I, I like to make people look bad. <laughs> why? It's just, it's funny to me. It's just me wanting to go out and dominate. I want to dominate everything I do. So pretty much me going out and dominate them is just natural to me. How nice has it been having Coach Barlow here? Just kind of that continuity and that relationship that you guys built last year in Jackson. Uh, it's just, it's pretty much easy. He know what I like to see. He, he know what type of routes I like to run. So he just put me in the best, best, best position for me. How is there any part of, I'm sorry, is there any part of um, learning receiver as you've gotten more immersed in it that, that maybe hasn't come naturally necessarily, it's been a struggle, the, yeah, it's the a, formations, it's a, whatever? No, nah, it's not the formation. It's a lot of like route running. You got a, a lot of techniques you got to learn. So I learned a, a lot of techniques since I've been here, how to step on people's toes, how to influence and go by, just a lot of things that we have to learn in, to, in order to get open. How much of the offense do you think has translated over from Jackson? Is it similar to Lewis's offense? Uh, nah, not really. I mean, it's every offense still, but it's way different. Signal's different. Route running is different. We got a lot of plays that we can make up our minds and whatever we want to run, so it's different. Travis, you came in last year, obviously, with a lot of hype at Jackson State, and then you were never healthy. How difficult was last year for you to not be able to show your full potential? Uh, it was very difficult because I came I came back early off an of injury when I was supposed to, but I wanted to play as much as I can. So I just came in and did what I had to do. So now I'm trying to get back 100% healthy so I can be able to play the best season in my college career right now. Do you feel like you are 100% right now? Yeah, not right now, but I'm getting there. I'm getting back to 100% for sure. Which quarterbacks here have impressed you when you match up as receiver against them? You know it's going to be a challenge. Uh, I mean, I pretty much try to make I treat them like they all going to be a challenge because I don't want to go out there and take anybody for granted, take anybody like they're nothing. So I want to go out there and just compete no matter what. So really no cornerback. Anybody that step in front of me, I just go out there and compete. Are you okay. learning from any of the other receivers? Uh, pretty, I'm pretty much like the – like I'm pretty much the one trying to teach. So it's like me, me Jimmy, and the Montana is the ones trying to just teach and let them know how to how to run routes. Because we got a young receiver room, so pretty much all of us are around the same age. So we all trying to teach and help each other as best as we can. Going back to what you're saying about you know kind of getting up to speed on learning the techniques and such, uh, you know because you are a corner, you know, yeah. is there any insights kind of going through your head about? How to beat guys because oh, yeah, you've pretty, played on the yeah, other side? Yeah, that's easy for me. Me knowing how to beat guys, what type of leverage they're going to play when I come off the ball. So it's pretty much easy. That's why in practice you see me open a lot because I'm, I'm already knowing what type of coverage they're in and what, what type of technique they're about to use on me. So I just get open. Have the, go ahead. Has the workout session been with T.O. been set up yet? Uh, no, nah, not yet. Not yet. Getting there, though. Okay. You mentioned the video of destroying that you want to win a Heisman. Yeah. Does that make you want to play more on the offensive side? No, nah, it made me want to play more on both sides of the ball. Make me want to go out and dominate each time I get on the field. We've seen you play some basketball over at the rec center. Yeah, yeah. Has Coach asked you to tone that down at all? Or, or <laughs> yeah, does he yeah. like that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's told me to tone that down. He told me to cut that out plenty of times. But it's just something I like to do. But right now, I got to tune it out right now and just come in and play football because we're getting ready for the spring game. Have you seen kind of the impact on campus just with people coming up to you and things like that? Uh, I'll pretty much stay off of campus as much as I can, so I won't have to run into that problem. <laughs> uh, Jimmy got his number. Are you uh, are you going to stick with 12? Yeah, I'm going to stick with 12. Um, I got to earn it just like he earned his. So, What's the reasoning behind 12 for you? 
Uh, it just I had my best career, my career season like in high school in that number, so I just wanted to stick with it. I didn't want to follow nobody else in my family that I stuck with their number. I know it's a couple months away, but opening the season at TCU against a team that was in the national championship game just a couple months ago, is that just extra motivation for you guys to, to go in there? And uh, I mean, pretty much every game. We look at every game like it's a, the best game we have to have. Like, no matter what, we got a lot of hype around us right now, so we got to go in and just attack every day and attack every team as we, at, to win. So we can't just sit there and not play how we want to play. We got to play. We practice in every day like we're going against TCU right now. What are your expectations for the spring game? What you guys are going to play? What you guys are going to do on that day? I'm just going out there and compete, like I said. Just go out there and dominate as much as I can. How excited are you to play in front of 45,000 fans that day? <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm excited, but I tune the, tune the crowd out until the end of the game. So I'm just going out there and play like nobody there. You got a list of fishing spots yet? No, nah, not yet. I'm trying to, though. It's still too cold right now. I just snowed like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be in the 80s next week. Yeah, but the water's still going to be cold. That's <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 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 Thanks,